know, Mike. Um, Tone is my partner, and basically this DVD is going to actually talk about different people in the industry, from Nike to York, Harrisburg, and um, we're going to have some different people interviewing us, and we're going to be interviewing them. Um, I have to my right over here, Claudia, and we actually interviewed her and Ron. Um, they're actually on the DVD as well. They're from the radio station here in Lancaster, PA. And she's going to ask me some questions about my background, and we'll take it from there. Exactly. So we're going to start a little bit with your background, which I'm very interested in knowing about. Right. Um, where are you from, first of all? I'm from, well, I actually live here in East Petersburg, PA, but I'm from New York. From New York. Were you born in New York? Yeah. yeah Raised born, in New York? Mm -hmm. I was so born you know, in Manhattan. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. I'm born in Manhattan, grew up in the Bronx, Westchester County, um, up in Hartsdale, then moved out back to the Bronx, Brooklyn, I've been Long Island, Robin County, I've been all over the place. And I do photography, of course. Yes, and we know that, you know, in those over the east near New York and all those places around there, that's where you can really, you know, based on what you're interested in, that's where you find everybody and you have more opportunities. So what actually drove you to Lancaster, Pennsylvania? Well, where, you know, it's so much less, it's so much smaller and less It is smaller less and less chance. opportunities, but the thing is, when I was in New York, of course I was growing up and everything, I was doing photography there as well, just like the music, but I got married and then my wife wanted the place where we could raise a family. So I introduced her to Lancaster, PA, and she liked it. I didn't think she was going to like it, but she liked it. And we moved out here, and I've been here ever since. I've been here for about five years now. Five years. Mm -hmm. And tell me, what is it that you really like? I know that you're into music, you're into um, video, photography. Tell me a little bit about everything and how you started, okay. each one of them, and you know what, what caught your attention about them. Okay. Well, for music, for instance, um, I started music when I was probably 12, actually seriously. Um, I started playing piano since I was 8 years old. And so I, I was going from church to church and doing different things, working with a lot of musicians. And uh, it was when I was 13 where I came along with um, Lem Springsteen, Jay Fair, and some other people. And that actually got my interest a little more in the music industry. So I was doing house music, I was doing hip hop, doing R&B music, and it just brought me along into a lot of different things, a lot of contacts in the industry. And I, I was doing a little bit of photography when I started when I was 15. Um, I was at day camp actually. My father was a teacher in day camp. And I took some classes and I was like, you know what, I really want to do more with the photography thing. My cousin was actually doing photography and I watched him a little bit. And he told me all I have to do is keep reading books and take more classes, so I started doing that. I started working with other photographers that I would meet and take some little ideas and concepts from them. They told me to get the right equipment, keep practicing, and that's how I ended up doing all the stuff I do now. So you never got like a educational background on this? Not for photography, I took educational background in communications. So radio television was my track in college. Where did you go to school? Wow, um, Westchester Community College. In what year? I'm <laughs> no, we won't go there, but I, I went to Westchester Community College for two years. I left there, I went to Hofstra University. Hofstra, I think I got the most out of everything, because there, um, that's in Long Island. There I was doing um, a lot of things with lighting, which you also need for photography, and I was doing a lot of video editing with that, so I was taking different classes, and that's what actually got me more interested in photography. I was like, wait a minute, if I could just do this and apply it. And that's how I came a chance to jump into photography. But um, after house let's see, I went to house for about about a full year. And then um, I went to Iona College. I stayed at Iona College for years. And then in Iona, I was doing mostly radio stuff. And I started meeting up other people and collaborating with them. So what's your most favorite one? Which one would you pick as number one? I mean, out of music and photography? Music, photography, video. video. It's hard. It's hard. Music is my life, but um, photography, I seem to have gained more attention and more contacts with it. Um, music actually got me a lot of contacts because going throughout the whole industry, there's so many people. And basically, music, photography, video, anything dealing with the entertainment industry, all works hand in hand.
Yes. And you have to know every single aspect to do the next thing. And that's the reason why I'm like, I can do photography. I do music also. I still do music today. But I'm, I work with different artists that actually need help doing things. So if there's a producer out there that needs somebody to do build fill-ins for tracks, I try to jump in and co-produce with them. Or I might actually know some other stuff that they never came across. So I'll jump in and I might just produce the whole thing if I have to. Have you had experiences with, you know, any known artists? Oh, you? yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of really? artists. Yeah. Because, you know, um, well, because, because I was with Jay Fair the most, um, I met a lot of artists through him. I was part of a group called DITC, which featured Donna D and Fat Joe and um, Big L, Lord Finesse, um, just, the list goes on and on and on. Out of DITC, a whole bunch of groups came out. Um, I actually left DITC because I was doing a lot of other stuff independently. And I couldn't go on tour and get them and do stuff, so I just kept doing it by myself. And that's how I made all my contacts. But because I was with Diamond a lot, um, I used to meet a lot of people in the industry. Same thing with Jay Fair. Jay Fair I used to get, go to um, a lot of different video shoots and just work with a lot of different people. Um, he works with Marlon Marlon, been in the studio with him for months. Um, we used to work with Rick Wake. Rick Wake owns a few record labels in New York and one of his um, artists that he deals with mostly is Celine Dion. And the list goes on and on with him. We used to go to different industry parties and been on television with different people and on the radio as well. So that gave me a lot of exposure and made me meet people from all over the place. Now, do you like making music? Do you like to sing as well? Rap? What? Well, I used to rap. Uh, I used to rap back. Why made um, you stop? Because you were saying grade. you used to. Yeah, I used to rap until um, I got in trouble one day with my, with my mom. <laughs> my mom, um, she told me that she didn't like my lyrics and I just said, okay, I'm going to give it up. I didn't really give it up. I just was it that bad? No, it wasn't that bad. She, see, my mom and my father are very religious, and um, I respect them for that. That's why I said let me step back, because I didn't want to get them in trouble for the stuff I was doing, because um, I was doing a lot of stuff in the church as well. But when I was going to school, I was going to school at Salesian High School. I went there between ninth and tenth grade, and um, I was doing, I was writing a lot of rhymes, and I was doing a lot of little street battles. I um, wanted to. Um, I guess one of the battles I was in, which it kind of opened my eyes, was with Sadat X. At the time, his name was Derek X, Derek Anderson, from um, Brand Nubian. And um, a lot of people were like, yo, you should come up with your own stuff. And I was going to, but then when that little thing came up in my mom and stuff, I said, right, I'm just going to keep producing on the side and writing music and doing stuff. And that's what happened. So that's where you are today. You're here in Lancaster. You like to do music. You like to mm -hmm. do beats. You. I know that you do photography on the side um, as part of your career. So we have this thing now called Dream DVD. Yeah, Dream DVD is basically, it's the first one that we're putting out, myself and Tom. And basically we're gonna have different artists. Um, we'll have Amarilla Santiago, who's local here in Lancaster, she's a singer. Um, she's gonna be on it. There's gonna be um, Fred Waters, he's a martial arts expert, he's really good. Um, and we're going to have some featured rappers in there and we're going to be having more segments come out later on and basically it's just help, helping other people get their dreams out there so we'll be giving out a lot of DVDs for the first ones then after that we'll be putting them out probably on YouTube and getting them in different stores and just getting people as much exposure as possible and what actually who, who came up with the idea with the original idea why you decided to do this well, I always had the idea that I wanted to do something like this, but Tone really was behind us saying, we got to put something out. There's so many people that really want to get known. And Tone is your partner. Tone is my partner. Mm -hmm. Tone is my partner, and basically we wanted to, to make sure that people knew that we were serious. And that's the reason why we're putting out Dream DVD, to make sure that other people that are out there just afraid to come out, more or less, or not knowing exactly who to contact, that they come directly to us so we can actually give them the exposure. So it really doesn't matter what career they're into? No. As long it's as we know that they really have a real raw talent that needs to be known, that's what we want to help them with. And when are you planning for this to come out? The first one's coming out in January. Um, so January 2008, we're going to be looking for it. Um, after that, we're probably going to have some more sex. So, so this is going to be... Let's say like first edition, just one segment. Mm -hmm. And how long is it gonna be? 
Um, it might be an hour. An hour. It might be an hour. Um, it depends on how many artists that we're going to have one together for. It. And we're okay. coming down to the wire, so we have just about everybody we need for the first one. Well, you better stay in touch. I and will. keep us updated. And we'll have uh, people up there that are really interested in it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome.